Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you have not already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, as you can see right here, we're gonna make a really simple Indian lamb curry. I've had loads and loads of emails about this. I've done a few before. I've tried to make this as simple as I can. It's absolutely delicious. The meat is super tender. Let's go and take a look at some of the ingredients. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ingredients we're gonna be using to get started. Here I've got some lamb. That's cut into kind of cubes, you know, that kind of size, you know, a bit chunky. Uh, there's no bone in that, so it's gonna cook a little bit quicker. Here I've got about equal amounts of tomatoes chopped, onions. Here we've got our powders, which are always called the big four. These are equal parts of coriander, turmeric, chili, and cumin. It's about a teaspoon each there. If you wanted, you don't, don't have these, you could just use a curry powder mix that you already have. Here I've got like two to three teaspoons of garlic ginger paste. Garlic ginger paste is a finely chopped mixture, like a 50-50 of garlic and ginger. Here we've got our whole garam masala. These are our whole seeds that we're gonna be using. I've got some black mustard seeds, green cardamom, and some cumin seeds. Again, the combination of these are enormous. You can use it or not use it. It's up to you if you wanna do a really quick one. Fresh chilies. Optional is how, how, how many you put in, but yeah. Pretty essential, I would say. Okay, let's get over to the cooker. We're gonna start this off with a touch of oil. That's about it, let's go. Okay, so you're gonna need a pan or a wok or something like that with a lid. In here I've got some oil. I'm using a little bit of sunflower oil. You could be using any oil you like. We're gonna add in our whole seeds first into the oil as it heats. Just to run through those again, green cardamom, cumin, and black mustard seeds. But you could be adding black cardamom, cinnamon stick, bay leaf, fennel seeds. Like I say, the combinations are endless, pretty much. We're just gonna get a little bit of heat through these. They'll infuse that oil. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our lamb. Let's get that in now. So we're on a kind of medium, or just above a medium heat. Let's just throw this around for about four to five minutes, stirring pretty much all the time at this stage. So we've browned our meat absolutely red raw inside. We've only got a little bit of color on the outside here. Next step is we're gonna add our onions. Now I'm using a red onion, you could be using a white or brown, that's up to you and also our garlic ginger paste. Now if you don't have garlic ginger paste, one, you can make it really easily, and we've got a video on the channel. Two, you can buy it in the shop. Or, if you want, just chop your fresh garlic and ginger as small as you like. So on this same heat, let's go for another three to four minutes. Going together really nicely. At this stage, let me add some salt to taste. Then gonna add our powders. Now let's just look at those again. So if you wanna just use a curry powder, you've got a mix or equal parts of coriander, turmeric, chili, and cumin. Next, we're gonna add our chopped tomatoes. Try and use a nice juicy ripe tomato. And we're gonna get in our fresh chili, which is optional as to how much you get in there. Let's give this a mix. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a lid on this and depending on how juicy your tomatoes are, what we're hoping is that they break down, give off some moisture and create our gravy masala or curry sauce. If they don't, we're gonna add a touch of water, so don't worry about it. It's looking pretty good. Just grab my lid, on goes my lid. No need to touch it now. Let it go on this medium heat to five to six minutes. Okay, let's jump in there. Let's get a bit of steam out for you. And as you can see, I've done really well with my tomatoes. So there's no need for me to add any more liquid. Like I say, if, if it's not 
got this kind of amount of water in it or juice chuck a bit of water in cold water works wonders as you can see the tomatoes are breaking down really nicely okay we're pretty much done in terms of adding ingredients but what we're going to do now is we're going to lower the heat to just above a simmer get that lid on and for me I'm going to let that go for about 20 to 25 minutes that depends on the type of or quality of the lamb that you've used so we just now need to cook it out between 20 30 minutes I would say give it a stir every now and then okay let's jump in heat off and that's looking fantastic now it's cooked down nicely as you can see there's a nice amount of masala there my meat's nice and tender I'm now going to finish this off with some fresh cilantro or coriander whatever you call that and a little pinch of garam masala powder let's give that a mix in check that for salt you might want to add a little touch more I'm good and we're done let me get that on a plate okay and there you go finished really easy had loads of emails about this one hope you enjoyed that don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you soon lots of love